I woke up to a news article from our local newspaper explaining that there were high levels of these toxic chemicals in our tap water. I started researching where did my water come from. I never thought I would testify before Congress. I never thought I would sit on a Washington Post Life panel. It's taken me places that I never knew. Piecing together the puzzle pieces, I find out that you know the company that was dumping these chemicals is an old DuPont facility. And so then we go on a journey online of searching for DuPont, and we discover the same exact thing was playing out in Parkersburg, West Virginia, and they were getting litigated for it. It was just this gut-wrenching feeling to realize that I had been raising my children on water that was unsafe. Three years after we had moved to the area, my husband developed a brain tumor. The surgeon was very urgent and said, this is the type of tumor where it can take your whole entire eyesight and we need to get it out now. You know, close friends, neighbors, and we pray every week for a parent who is dying of bone and brain cancer and we pray every week for another parent that had colon cancer. So when we found out about the water, and I started seeing all the friends around me. I just realized that there's more that we could be doing than praying. We absolutely can be using our hands and feet to pray. And that's what brought me to DC so many times and to testify before Congress because I know that this is gonna take all of us working together to create a solution to the problem. The problem is not an insurmountable problem. There is a solution. People in the community that want to get involved, is there something for everyone in this journey? I fight for my family and your family too.